Being a housewife is not a reward. Being a woman of leisure is a reward. But that's the same thing. No, they're not. No, they're not. If you're a woman of leisure, if you are a woman of leisure, you don't have responsibilities. Your responsibility is being a woman of leisure. If you are a housewife, you maintain and you manage the house. That's not a fucking reward. It's a job. Whether it's only 20 hours a week is still a job. If there's no if, if you, if, about if you trying to reward me because I was there through the tough times, let me be a woman of leisure. Let me be a kept woman. That is a reward. Rewarding me with washing dishes is not a fucking reward. Damn. Why she say it's so tough, though? Why she say it's so tough? Anyways, uh, yeah, like I said, man, I got I got four questions. I got four questions that I want to ask you, uh, good people. Like I said, I'm going to talk to the men first. And then after I talk to the men, you know, you woman can come up here and, you know, tell us how a man putting you in a position to be a housewife and not have to go to work. You know, how that how that's still not good enough, because apparently that's that's still not good enough because you complain, you complain when you have to go to work and do all these other things. And then you still complain when you don't have to go to work and still do these things. So I just, I don't know. I don't know what to say anymore. I, I don't know what to do. <sighs> I do not know what to do. Okay, I'm going to bring up, uh, I'm going to bring up Division. I'm going to bring up Division first. And then I'm going to bring other ladies up. What's good, bro? What up, my boy? G, you, you didn't see what I was saying in the comments. I was saying to follow my backup page back in my, my backup page because... I had to go on my other uh, account real quick to to get that ass up out of here. They talking regular to the comments, but I can't. Yeah, do it. as usual. But make anyway, sure, make sure me, you go uh, for this account though. Let me. Uh, yeah. So I said I got four questions um, that I want to ask. You know, like I said, I want to start this off with men. So you know, um, first question: What are your initial thoughts on the audio? <sighs> um, it sounds like. She's a woman who who thinks that basically, like, you know, being an at home wife is not good enough. Essentially, like, she don't look at it as like a privilege. She she feel like women should be more liberated. They should have a free space to move around, go do what they want. You can't really. She basically saying you really can't be rewarded for sitting at home and doing basic duties as an at home wife. Right, but I mean, you've also heard men. You've also heard you also yeah, let me see. Uh she said um uh, she said uh I'm I'm kinda grateful um to be a lesbian. Well, go go to your um community, um however you say your name. You clearly don't have anybody even in your own community that likes you either. So like I said to everybody else, hopefully you find somebody in your community that likes you this year, okay? You have a good night. But division. <laughs> You also heard you've also heard them say though, you've also heard them say that like when I go to work, I don't want to have to like come home and you know do all of these things. So they complain about having to go to work, right? They talk about work working for the man. They complain about having to, you know, wake up in the morning and go work for the man, sit in traffic and this, that, and the third, and then have to come back home and do all these things. They say it's tiring, it's stressful. So now when a man puts you in a position to where you don't have to go to work. And you literally can just stay at the home and, you know, do those things. And, you know, let's say even if you don't even let's say you don't, that woman doesn't have a child. So if she doesn't have a child. Her main duty is going to be cooking and cleaning and keeping the house together. If she does have a child, if she does have children. Now, those those children don't have to go to daycare. So um, they're they're saving they're saving money on that. Um, she doesn't have to like risk putting her children in the hands of people that she doesn't know. Or that she doesn't trust and, you know, hoping that they don't do something that she doesn't want done to her kids. So, like, how do you how do you how do you satisfy them? Based, based off what you just said, that sounds very, like, contradicting if a woman is asking for that. Because how do you not want to go to work, but also you don't want to be at home and cook and clean? You think that's too much as well. So what is the man supposed to do? Go to work and come home and cook and clean? It's like, what what do you tr what are you truly, truly looking for out of life? Just to sit around, look pretty, and think that's going to be leverage and leeway your whole life for you to get money and get, you know, get a certain lifestyle just for your looks? That's not, like, in 2023, that's not enough. You know what I'm saying? Like, your looks and maybe even that cat ain't going to get you as far as to not being able to work and not cooking and cleaning. 
meaning. And I've actually heard um, some women express and say before, if a man is going to financially take care of everything, I'm talking about bills on top of bills on top of bills, she don't mind cooking and cleaning. Mind. So for these women that's saying that, oh, it's a problem for them to go to work and that they don't want to sit at home and cook and clean while men take care of everything, that sounds like a case of delusion. Like I said, they want they like so so it's like again, you don't want to go to work and do that stuff. You don't want to stay at home and do that stuff. So this man for him to be able to satisfy you, for him to be able to make you happy, this man needs to this man needs to be able to afford to have, you know, like I said, he needs to be be able to afford to have maids. He needs to be able to afford to have a damn butler, uh, a chef to come make you breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and him breakfast, lunch, and dinner, you know. Um, lunch for work, dinner when he gets home. He, they need they need a masseuse. He needs to be able to hire a masseuse that can come in and you know give her give her a massage three days a week. And then he 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 also needs to um he just needs to be a rich man so she can wake up in the morning and just use a credit card and go shopping all day. No, that's, you that's know what, what a life of leisure sounds like. That's what a life of luxury sounds like to me. You know what's crazy, and everybody who know, especially on your platform, like like I it, like I always state, you know how I stick up for women and advocate for them. But it's like certain comments I'm seeing. Like one woman, she said, "Sounds like a case of broke man syndrome." First of all, how like and and I'm no doctor, so I can't diagnose anybody with narcissism or anything. But it th essentially that's just what it seems like. Why do y'all feel like, or some of y'all women, because I'm not gonna generalize, but why do some women feel as though you deserve, like, you know, you don't have to put in any work, do anything, go to work. You don't have to sit at home and, you know, cook, clean, maintain a household. You don't have to contribute as a girlfriend or a wife. Why do y'all feel like y'all don't have to literally do nothing but lay there on y'all back, but get this perfect fantasy, you know, princess queen lifestyle? And then you try to flip the narrative and say that a man is broke, broke, broke. Why is there no consideration for your man? Why does he have to mentally and physically strain himself to create a lifestyle for you when you're not contributing anything to the relationship, to the partnership, to the household, to the dynamic that y'all are supposed to be building? Essentially, if he's going to be doing all of that, he can be by himself. What are you adding to, you know, to, to this dynamic that y'all have going on? Are you just around, you know, to be be a filler, to be Casper? I mean, at this point, you just want to be pocket pussy. So it's like, what what are you really sitting around and, and being around for if you're not going to do anything? And that's clear-cut delusion, I think, that you could be around, not go to work, not cook and clean, but a man is somehow supposed to be, you know, have it all together, take care of himself, take care of you. And then people don't even focus on the mental part of it that's a huge huge aspect of all of this people are always focusing on physical and like you know somebody who's straining their body to go to work what about mentally and this is why y'all get cheated on because a man be so so sick and tired of y'all fit you know feeding this delusion into you know the mass that's saying like oh you're supposed to take care of me you're supposed to do this you're supposed to do that you're supposed to you're supposed to you're supposed to you're supposed to and you're not adding anything to it so then when he actually go find a woman that's going to appreciate him Find a woman that's gonna care for him. Find a woman that's gonna stick by his side. Now y'all want to play the victim and be like, "Oh, you, you, you did this, you did that." Did you, did you consider that man feelings? Did you care for that man? You know, from the jump, did you actually ask that man how his day was? Did you think about, you know, picking up a dish towel and washing the dishes? What, what are you contributing? Nothing. And before we go to the next question, that's the thing. When, whenever, well, like when you hear them talk about you know, the unjustified standards that they have, the unrealistic standards that they have. You never hear them say, like, why they have those unjustified standards. You never hear them say, like, what attributes that they're going to be bringing to that man. You never hear them say, like, you know, these are the attributes that I'm going to bring to the man that are, that is going to even uh, make a man that's of that caliber um, see me as valuable. Uh, want want me want to make me his wife want to make me his girlfriend want me to be the mother of his children how this is how I'm going to elevate him or keep him where he's at help him evolve you never hear them talk about any of those things because to them it doesn't matter like you said it's just the it's just the delusion but um so the second question um uh, division do you think a lot of black women need to see a black man as a superb negro? before they see him as valuable and deem him relationship worthy. How do you feel about that? No, um, I don't feel like anybody should be have that type of judgment passed on them before they're actually, 
um, given a chance to, you know, see out who they actually are as a person. I don't feel like, you know, you got to look at somebody and just full-fledged judge them and put them in a box, making it seem like they have to be the superb Negro or whatever before you get to know who they are genuinely. I feel like a lot of people actually pass up on good, genuine people and don't realize some of the people that could be their soulmates right in front of their face because they have such high expectations off rip. They comparing a lot of what we see in main media and in society and saying that if I come across this man, he got to have this, he got to have that, he got to be doing this, he got to be doing that. And you really, really could be passing up on a person that either can get it in a short amount of time span that you can build with or somebody who, you know, might have it, you know, but just don't have it as as much or to the standard that you might want it. But just comparing all of this stuff and then making it seem like a man got to just have it, have it, have it. Soon as you meet him, I feel like that's a lot of that stuff is unrealistic because I tell women all the time. I tell men and women, don't expect something from somebody that you yourself cannot bring to the table. So why is there so many women who's who, you know, a man got to be a superb Negro. He got to be this. He got to be that and have all this and have all of that. But you don't even have it together. Um. So, third question: uh, Do you, do you think a lot of modern black women, thirty and under, are interested in building with a man? Why or why not? Hmm. Thirty and under interested in building with a man. Uh, hmm. I mean, honestly, I'm not a woman, so really, like, to to really like you know dive into that, I wouldn't know. But if we going based off of what we see in media, because I mean, media is not Division, always not, 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 not just not. OK, OK, you can say you can say see in media because I mean, you 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 see things, but you've also had a woman. You've also heard um, and had a woman tell you things pertaining to this whole building with situation thing, too. But but go ahead. Yeah, I was just going to say, like, you know, media and reality aren't always, you know, the same thing. A lot of people portray stuff that they don't really live by in media. That's why I said, like, in just the real, real world of reality, 30 and under, if they really, really try to build, um, I would say I've seen equally, you know, yes and no, if we talk about real world. But in media itself, it's not portrayed in that manner. Building wise, I feel like we've come to in a society where it's like that 30 and under thing, they, you know, kind of pushing this narrative of live your life, have fun, you know, don't don't try to settle down with no man, you know, ball a man, get him to pay your rent, get him to fly you out, get him to do this, get him to, you know, get you a Birkin. If he not, you know, getting your nails done every single week, then lead that man, find a man that's going to invest in you. You shouldn't be laid up with no man or giving no man no cat that ain't putting no money in your pocket, blah, blah, blah. That's just what I'm saying I'm seeing in the media. So if we talking about just media wise, then I would say no, 30 and under, no, not trying to build, just trying to have a good time. But reality wise, real world, um, I would say it's it's 50 50. OK, OK, I, I can respect you saying 50 50. But even, you know, with the media, you can acknowledge that the media does have um, an influence on um, a lot of people's perception of things. Um or even like inc- including what they're including what their standards are, like you know, um, the like I always say, you know, these women be on the shade room, you know, they they be on all these different blogs, they see these baby mamas and 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 girlfriends and wives of these athletes and entertainers, you know, they they see them getting cars and watches on their birthdays, Valentine's Day, they see them in five star hotels and getting rose petals leading to the bed with big teddy bears and hearts all on the hearts all on the bed and they do get influenced to think that, you know, um, even though I'm not dealing with a man of that caliber and I, there's a 99.9% chance that I'm never, ever going to be dealing with a man of that caliber, my man that makes $50,000 a year, I want him to be able to do the same thing or, or, or I'm going to skip over all the men that's available, readily available for me and more than suitable for me because that's what I want now because that's what I see on my phone. You can acknowledge that that happens too though, right? Yeah, and that's why I said that's why the 50-50 come from the 50% of the ones in real reality that do, I feel like they're heavily influenced by the media because they didn't just get it from anywhere. Like, it didn't just, you know, they didn't wake up and it didn't fall out their ass or whatever. They have to be influenced and get this mindset from somewhere. So the ones that's living in real reality, if they are moving in that type of mindset, they're heavily influenced by the media and they're trying so hard to apply it to their real life, which is why they're having problems finding a real, real relationship or maintaining a, a low 
lo- a relationship that has longevity. Even for some of these women that, you know, I guess are heavily influenced by the media that do get into a relationship. I promise you, promise you, promise you, you cannot name uh, a woman cannot name to me one relationship that she's gotten in and she's been in, you know, for a year, two years, three years, four years, five years, where she was heavily influenced by the media, where she's told a man, you have to pay for this, pay for that, do this, do that. I'm not going to contribute anything to the relationship. You got to take care of everything. You got to come with this, come with that, drive a Benz, make $100,000 a year, blah, blah, blah. There's no longevity. So even if they do come across a man who's going to do it, it's only going to last for so, so long because a woman, I mean, a man is going to get tired of that. And for the other part of that, um, some women don't even get the chance to get into a relationship with these type of men because from from all I'm, 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 like, I'm, I'm sorry to cut you off. I'm sorry. Don't don't say some say like 98, 99 percent of them are not going to be in a relationship with these type of men. That's just the reality. Yeah. 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 So they, they it's just like very small percentage. They they might find a man who who going to be willing to do it. But then, like I said, it's no longevity in it. But like you said, majority of them, they not even getting into these type of relationships or situations because the men know off rip. I'm not going for nothing like that. So, and I feel like that's what I was talking about with that 50% in reality. They're heavily influenced by the media to thinking that, okay, I see what's going on with these celebrities. I see they got this type of lifestyle. I see what's being the agenda being pushed in the media. I can apply that to my real life. Well, you know, news call. No, you cannot. You can't apply that. And this is why you're still single because it don't work like that in the real world. I don't know where this whole mindset came from that, oh, a man got to come with this and that for me to mess with him and I'm going to ball him and be so liberated and live freely and, you know, I'm not going to, you know, contribute towards anything to this relationship and he just got to have, have, have. What do you have? That's not living traditionally because when you live traditionally, if a man is going to take care of you, you still hold up your end. And this is why I tell people about, you know, when you have an empire being a king and a queen, a queen is supposed to be able to have just as much as a king so that if at any given moment he falls, you can pick up where he left off at. You can still maintain y'all palace and y'all, you know, y'all foundation. These women be so confused by that and be thinking that a man is just supposed to be a king and have it all together. And he's supposed to be the one that's, you know, taking care of everything financially, take care of himself, her mentally, physically, emotionally, financially. And that at any given moment he falls she just supposed to look around like, well, you supposed to bounce back and just have it like that. It don't work like that. Uh, Drew, Drew and hashtag. I, I, I see y'all. I see y'all in the comments. Um, uh, make, make sure, make sure y'all um, request up here as well. Uh, if you can, uh, too, please. Um, look, man, there's, you know, as anticipated as always, there's a lot of, there's a lot of angry, you know, um, bitter, um, broken black woman in the comments. I'll tell you what, guys. Um, I'm gonna turn the comments off, and until y'all get the comments to of, uh, or I'm gonna turn the comments off, and until y'all get the likes to 40k, then I'll I'll turn them back on so y'all can display your bitterness again. But y'all gonna tap the screen until then, okay? Um. So uh. So last question, bro. If you've if you have had, and you can only answer this if you've had these experiences. If you have had um, other experience, if you have if you have to compare your experiences dating other races of women. Um, would you say you've had better experience with better experiences with other races or nothing drastically different? I honestly can't even answer this because I don't have any experience outside of right. black women. Like right. I don't be outside of black women. Right. Okay. That's that's good. Uh stay uh bro, stay up here. Uh just just please uh mute up. I appreciate it. All right, uh, baby.